Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are starting out with the eyes. So I am priming using Sigma Persuade Eye Base and I'm just using a little flat kabuki, like angled kabuki to blend that over my lids. Then I'm taking the Morphe 25B palette, which is the bronzed mocha palette and I'm just taking this bone shade to set my entire eyelids and I'm just using a large fluffy brush. Then I'm just taking some tape and applying that to the outer corners of the eyes and then I'm moving on to the next shade in the palette as my transition shade and yeah I'm just using this to blend through my crease and a bit above it. Then I'm going in with a slightly darker shade that's a little bit more like a reddish browny kind of colour and I'm just basically repeating the same step. Then I'm going in on an E38 brush which is a bit shorter and more dense and I'm just using this medium toned brown just to start to blend a little bit lower and more directly into the crease. Then I'm taking these two brown shades mixed together and I'm just starting to build up the intensity. So as you can see I'm keeping it very precisely in the crease and yeah just blending away as always then I'm taking this brown shade from the bottom row in the middle it's quite deep and I'm using an E25 brush which is more precise again and I'm just focusing this in the outer corner and the crease as well and then I'm taking this warm toned brown I'm just really mixing all of these brownie shades together it just helps to give the look more dimension um, and I'm actually focusing this more along the outer V, so along where the tape is. And then I'm taking the black shade on an E30 pencil brush and I'm just starting to apply that in the outer kind of corner along the tape. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am just starting to carve out the lid so that you could, you know, see the shimmery shade really well. I like to do this because I have such hooded eyes, it means I can apply the shimmer to more part of the lid. So I'm applying it and then I'm using my finger just to press it into my eyelid and then I'm going in with a blending brush and just lightly blending those edges. Then I'm taking a flat shader and I'm picking up this beautiful taupey bronze shade and I'm starting to apply it to the lid. So I'm taking it all the way up to where I basically stopped the concealer, which is just above my crease. As I said before, I like to be able to see the shimmer. And then I use my finger just to apply a little bit more of a hefty amount onto the lid. And then I'm just going back in with that reddish purpley kind of brown and just blending some more of that into the outer corner and through the crease. Then I'm taking an E62 brush, which is a cut crease brush, just with one of the browns and I'm just applying that to where all of my shades pretty much finish, just to make it a little bit sharper. And then I'm taking the light bone shade again and just highlighting my brow bone with that. Then on an E44 brush, I'm just basically blending the edges. There is no product on this brush at the moment, just making sure everything's super seamless. And then I'm taking some more of the black shade and just adding a little bit more of that into the outer corner just to build up the depth. And then I'm going in with my Models Prefer and Cement the Jade liquid eyeliner. I really like this liquid eyeliner, it's amazing. And I'm just creating a very, very big wing. Then I removed the tape and wiped away any fallout. And now I'm just tight lining my eyes with a Models Prefer Coal Pencil. Then just giving my eyelashes a curl and applying some Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And the falsies I'm using are the Huda Beauty Cement the Number 7 Lashes. Then moving on to the face, I am applying some Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer. So I'm just massaging that over my skin. Then I'm mixing some Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation with the Tarte Radiance 
drops which gives it the most beautiful luminous finish so I'm just applying that to my skin using a damp beauty blender and I just love 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 this combo I am gonna be using it a lot more now that I know how good it is then to conceal I am using Tarte Shape Tape surprise surprise I love 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 this concealer I just ordered a darker shade um, so that I could use it when I'm not so pale because this color is quite light as you can see but I'm just basically concealing my under eyes and highlighting the hell out of my face then just to make sure everything is super bright I am using my Bare Minerals uh, I always forget the name of this but it's the powder concealer well rested that's what it's called I always forget the name of that I'm just using that to set my under eyes and a little bit around my nose and my mouth and then I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder to set down the rest of my face. Then to bronze and contour, I am taking the mixture of these two shades from the Tarte Clay Play palette and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and down the sides of my nose and then I'm going to go in with an F05 brush and just start to blend it away and add a little bit more product as I go so that it's nice and blended and of course I'm adding some contour and bronzing around my hairline my temples and underneath my jaw and you know all of the areas that I do every single time and here I'm just taking my beauty blender to make sure all of my edges are very very seamless and then for blush, I'm taking one of my favorites. This is an Inglot powder, powder blush. And I forget what number it is, but it will be listed down below with everything else. And then for highlight, I'm taking the Huda Beauty uh, highlighter palette. And I'm using the shade Santorini, which is the lightest one in the palette. Just on the tops of my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow, above my eyebrows, down my nose, and on my chin. You know all of them high points. Then moving back onto the eyes I'm mixing a couple of the light browns on an E25 brush and I'm just buffing those underneath the lower lash line to start. Then I'm taking another mixture of two shades, the warm toned reddish brown with the deeper brown and I'm using a pencil brush just to smudge that along the outer sort of third of my eye. And then I'm going in with that bronzy taupe shade we used on the lid and just applying that to the inner third of the lower lash line. Then I took this light champagne shade and highlighted the inner corners, which isn't really necessary considering we're going to use the foil, but you know, whatever. Then I just lined my waterline with the black pencil and applied some lower lash mascara. And then I'm taking some craft uh, foil leaf. So it's silver foil just be very careful not to get it in your eyes as with anything like this I'm just using some glitter glue to secure it down but you could use clear lash glue if you would like and then for lips I am using the Colourpop lippy pencil in Aquarius which is one of Kathleen Lights's shades and I love it and then to finish off I'm taking one of these Maybelline color jolts I believe they're called um, they're like a creamy lip paint they're amazing and then I'm just spritzing my face with some Algenist splash setting spray and that completed the look I really hope you guys loved it and I will see you very soon